I generally always leave finishing the cuffs for the last thing that I do. But I will tell you, my experience has really, really taught me that you need to use bias on the cuff. Why? Because it's going around the sleeve, plus you're asking it to turn on itself. And the reason I like to use turn back cuffs is because that solves the issue of how long you make the sleeve. So if you're making these for gifts or to sell like I do, to have an adjustable length sleeve is a good thing. So this is what we're going to end up with. I always cut it plenty wide, like probably eight, ten inches wide, and about two inches longer than the circumference of the cuff. Now I've got the sleeve turned wrong side out, and what I've done is I've chalked a line two inches from the raw cut edge of the sleeve. And then I start pinning this on, pinning the cuff on, just butting the edge to that chalked line. Now you see I'm coming along here and I'm going to just make a little clip in here at the seam line. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, a little clip in at the seam line, unpin enough so that I can get to it. Now I'm going to allow for a quarter inch seam. So if I cut off mm, about that much from this side and appears less from this side, about that much. You see what I mean by this is not an exact science and heaven forbid I would not want to have measured that and cut it exactly. That's just not how I work, so I'm showing you how I do it. So I have this little clip and this little clip, so I'm going to match those little clips up. I've allowed for about a 3 8 inch seam. So now I've stitched the cuff into a circle. Now I can go ahead and stitch this on here. You could press this open if you want. It looks like I have the bulk of this seam allowance coming this way, so I think I'll just send the bulk of the seam allowance of the cuff the other way. And of course where you want to use the free arm on your sewing machine. around here. Cut. Okay, start again. Alright, so I'm about all the way around. These are my little Japanese snips. I absolutely love these things. They're quick and easy to get hold of. Love them, love them, love them. Now what you're going to do and you see, to do all that, I had put the right side of the fabric to the wrong side of the sleeve. Now what happens is that you're going to actually wrap that lower part of the sleeve with the cuff. So, I think I'd be ahead now to turn my sleeve right side out. this point I want to make sure that it, the cuff fabric is snugly wrapping the bottom of the sleeve. So you see right down here at the bottom is the cut edge of the sweatshirt sleeve. Again, the reason you use bias because it's turning back on itself and going around something in this case, the circumference of the sleeve. So then, once you do that, you've just got this edge to finish. And you can see what I chose to do on this sleeve. I took a little edge of the selve edge, 
and stuck it down in there and then couch down two rows of this green woolly yarn. And then you'll have this nice turn back up. So have some fun with it. If you have some sewing experience, you can just really go to town and have lots of fun using up your scraps.